Hey, I'm John. Today I am Dover. So I take the southeastern train from London to here in Dover. So the plan for today is to go to Dover Castle. But now the first stop is Western Heights of Dover. So it's another castle, it's, an, it's another uh, fort defense. Okay, now I will go to a fort, a very old fort. It's something uh, maybe similar with the Castle Dover, but it's something uh, smaller. It's from uh, 11 or 12th century. And uh, now I'm in my way to that place. All right, so I can't believe where Google Maps drive me. So this is the way to the first attraction Western Heights of Dover it represents the Napoleonic war between uh, French and England And the color, I didn't see this. I didn't think that I will see this kind of color, and it's interesting. It's so incredible this place. I want to show you this. Okay. So this is the view over the city and it's absolutely fantastic, I mean I don't know guys, I don't know guys if you see this but look at this Now I'm here and this is the way. Alright. Now I can say I am in the history of this place. If you think a little bit about uh, history where uh, British soldiers defend this place, you can say you can say easily England was never defeated. I find something very interesting is this hole or door or but it's very interesting. Let's see what is in the end of the okay. now I'm in the in the other side of this place. So, this is maybe a shortcut. Okay, let's go back. What people 
can do in this beautiful place. Very nice. Another trail and another view. This place never stopped to surprising me. Now I think it's time to go to Dover Castle. So up to the castle you have to take on this alley. I don't know for how many minutes I have to climb this, but this is the way. So this is the artillery, this is the defending of the England. Eastern arm and southern breakwater. Since the last war, consider the rest of docks, following the reclamation of 15 acres of land. Currently... Let's see what is this. Okay, this is another view over the port I don't know what how to describe this uh, this deep hole but I think was for the defending of the castle say that I'm 18th century or maybe in 19th century this place is I don't know it gives you a very unique sentimental a very unique experience it's so interesting I want to show you another piece of work another weapon to defend the castle is this My intention goes to the tunnels now, where it's pretty dark at first. Now I'm in the tunnels. It's very interesting. Okay, and this, and what is this? Mm -hmm. 
And what is this? What is the purpose of this? I think that one is the secret tunnel. Okay. This is the secret tunnel. That's all? Okay. So the secret tunnels is this. Hmm. It's pretty long. And that's all. <laughs> the greatest castle of the England Tower. The history of this place is the most important thing. This is why I will start talking about First World War. Dover Harbour was one of the main links in the chain supplying Britain's armies in Europe. Thousands of soldiers came to the area to defend the port at all costs with their headquarters at the castle. But what happens in Second World War? During the Second World War, Dover was again on the front line against attack from both air and sea. From 1939, the tunnels in the cliffs beneath the castle housed the command center for naval operations in the channel and it was from there that, that the extraordinary evacuation of the British army from Dunkirk was masterminded in May and June 1940. on the top of the castle and the last thing the construction for the castle began in 11 12th century and through the years the castle was upgraded and expanded Beside all the history, which is very important, I was privileged with a good weather and a lot of sun at the time of my visit. It was really enjoyable. I never imagined that the footpath to the White Cliff is so fantastic. I mean, really, I didn't expect that. So, I am once again surprised today, which is a good thing. So if you want to go there, there at the white cliff, you have to do some tricks. I mean this. Okay. There we go. Okay. It's blue or greenish 
I don't know how to describe it, but it's but the water have a very wonderful color. Now the downhill begins. This thing, it was possible because somebody So London Bay Tunnel, this passage was excavated in 2019 to restore public access to Langdon Beach. It was made possible thanks to fundraising by local National Trust volunteers. So, so thank you volunteers for such a thing. Okay, that is the sunset and because of that this is the end of the video. If you like this video and if you want to consider this, you can press the thumbs up button, you can comment and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already and thanks for watching. Soon we'll travel in time again.